The next day, Locke had decided he'd had enough of walking and will have a day chilling at the accommodation. The rest of us went to see the Temple of Golden Pavilion. Being other of the iconic Japanese places to visit, historic monuments of the ancient Kyoto World Heritage Sites. It is understandably popular, completed in 1397. It was rebuilt in 1955 after it was burnt down. Um, What's your side, Jess? Well, so there's, a lot of there's a lot of things. I'd like to have such a strong mind. My fortune, very good. My fortune. Very good. Alright, All right, let's go. Mum and I then met up with Elena and Lily for a traditional tea ceremony. We got dressed up, choosing our kimono, getting our hair done. Then we had to walk down the street, all kitted up to the tea ceremony place. <laughs> the makyo, which is an apprentice geisha, demonstrated how to prepare, serve and drink the matcha tea. Then we got to make our own. I was good at whisking it, but the makyo had to help mum. exploring around Kyoto City and eventually ended up unsurprisingly at Baskin Robbins for ice cream. I got two big scoops. Oh, we wait for Mummy and Zoe to do their tea ceremony. <laughs> we were a little surprised when we went in search of for an arcade and bumped into Z Mummy and Zoe at a crossing <laughs> street. At least I'm going to the arcade. That's funny. We're close to the arcade now. Surprise when we went to an arcade and found Matt and the boys were already there. were the highlight.
before leaving Kyoto, we had one last item to see, the Senbori Gate. A tori is a traditional Japanese gate most commonly found at the entrance or within a sh Shinso shrine, where it symbolically marks the transition from mundane to the sacred. There are around 10,000 tori gateways of all sizes along the mountain path, which are donated by businesses and families who are inscribed on the back of the gate. It was now time to leave Kyoto and head three and a half hours northeast to Nizawa Onsen. 